everybody, this is going to be a short video on how to get work into Word. So one of the issues that I have as a teacher is that I have a very hard time grading on Teams. So what I like to do is I like to download things, I like to print them off, especially work that involves math. There's a couple of ways that you can do math in Word. One of those ways is under the draw menu, you actually have inking tools on here. Your devices are touch screen, and even if your stylus doesn't work, you can, of course, just use your fingers. And you can come over here, and you can click the red pen, and you can use your finger, and you can write in it. Now, I'm just using my mouse right now because the screen that I'm on is not touch screen, but you get the idea. So your writing would look a lot more legible than mine is with the mouse. So you can write directly onto there, you can erase, and so you could do math work right on each individual page you can even zoom the pages in so that you can get more work on there. So that's one way to get that. Another way to do that is to do your work on paper and take pictures of them. And so over here you can see I got four documents over here and you can use your device and take pictures of those. And then I always put these things like this on my desktop so that it's easily findable. Your camera is going to give you very weird file names, and so I've went ahead and I've renamed all of these, like page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, to make it easy for me to put them into Word. And so I've laid them out here on the desktop, and i got Word right here. Uh, and so there's a couple of ways to do this. One of these, if you've got the files, you can just click and drag. And so here's the work on here. Now I just took random images off the internet. Uh, you can resize them, but this one happens to be a pretty nice size right here. So that's page one. And so then what you can do now is you can go to a second page. And so here I am on page two. And I can click page two and I can drag it in. Now you don't have to resize it because the person doing the grading can resize it. But you could also come down here and click it and resize it so it fits within the white margins up here on your ruler bar. And then again, all you'd have to do is come in here and click return, do a, second, a third page. Now another way to get these in here, if you want, is by using the insert menu. So you see my arrows over here on insert. I go to insert, I go to pictures from this device. I've put them on the desktop to make them easier to see. So I click on the desktop and my desktop has a lot more icons on another monitor. But here's page one, here's page two, here's page three. I click on page three and I can insert it. So you can also just insert it from the menu or you can just click and drag. So here's page three put in. I click over here. I do a control enter to make a new page and my new page appears here and I'm just going to drag page four on here. Uh, one thing I would tell you like on this one it has a lot of dark background. You know if I print this it's going to waste a lot of ink. So if you know how to crop your images I mean go in here and, and crop this this out. It saves me some time because what I'll do is I will go in and I will crop that stuff up and make sure that I don't print a lot of black. This one obviously not very good as far as image quality but you get the idea. So now I have one document with all four images on them. I can now save that one document, do a file, save as. I can upload that one document to Teams with all four pages in it, as opposed to all four images being posted one by one, which causes me, what I, mean, what I do personally is I download all those images, I put them in the Word. And so this just saves me some time if you would go ahead and do that. All right, so there's two different ways to do math in Word, either by using the draw tools or by doing work on paper, taking pictures, and dragging them into Word and saving it and uploading a Word document. If you have any questions, see me or your teacher.